Yo, what is up guys? I'm bringing you a brand new video and today we're talking about why Pen Often C20 is the new best in slot PvP weapon for succession classes and why you should no longer be running Blackstar or Zarka if you're trying to min-max your build for the future of BDO for the next six months. Because obviously we're going to be getting Fallen God weapons and that's probably going to replace the Often. But for right now, I personally think that the new region is not going to come out in North America and Europe until at least November or December. So for right now, in this current iteration of BDO and for the foreseeable future until Fallen God weaponry, often is going to be the best. And I'll prove to you why in this video. So right now, often is considered kind of a meme item because you're losing a lot of accuracy. You're losing 18 accuracy and all you're really gaining is 3 AP. And so a lot of people think that that's just not worth it at all. And you're probably right. But what's going to be happening really soon is the Global Lab is buffing accuracy accessories quite heavily. So Dawn Earrings are going up to an additional 19 accuracy, up to 57 accuracy. And you're going to find that Ominouses are also going to be raising their accuracy up to 56. You're going to have Lunar Necklaces go up to 74. Turo Belts are currently at 34, and they're going up to 60 accuracy. So gaining accuracy through your accessory slot is going to become far more efficient than gaining accuracy through your main hand weapon because of how great these ratios are about to be. And we actually have a little table here for you guys to show just how dramatic it is. So the accuracy gained per the AP lost of having a Debo Earring and swapping to a Dawn. A Debo Earring has 19 AP, Dawn has 14, that's 5 AP. You're going from 57 accuracy on the Dawn, and you had originally only 12 accuracy on the Debo, that's 45 accuracy. So if we take that 45 accuracy divided by the 5 AP difference, you're gaining 9 accuracy per the AP lost. It makes it the single most efficient swap to be running a Dawn over that of a Debo earring. We can do that same exact math for ominouses to Debo rings, and ominouses are giving you 7.33 accuracy per AP lost on the Debo ring. And then Turos are giving you 6.8 additional accuracy, 6.85 additional accuracy per AP lost. And then coming in at sixth place, we have going to a Zarka from an Often because obviously you can run two Dons, two ominouses, and a Turo. That's five accessories. It makes it the sixth best swap. So if you somehow need to be running five accuracy accessories and you still need more, that is only then and only then would you consider running an often, or pardon me, a Zarka over that of an often. Because it's just inefficient otherwise because you gain so much more accuracy per the AP lost of all these accessories. Now, the big elephant in the room here is obviously that Debarekas have a set effect. So... Things aren't quite exactly that way, but it's probably the fourth best swap. Up until the point where you're losing the three Debo set effect, that is when it would make sense to be putting on a, a, a Zarka over an Often if you just needed more accuracy than three accuracy accessories. But I'm also going to prove to you guys why you don't really need more than three accuracy accessories. So, what is about to become meta? Actually, let's go back to this table. Notice something else in this table. Every other accuracy source in the game has become irrelevant compared to accessories. If you were to just put in two Macalods, not even considering all the other stats that Macalods give. Macalods give whatever, they give stamina and whatever they give. Just the 11 AP from running two Macalods is you're only gaining 3.27 accuracy per AP lost when you are running Gin Vipers over Macalots. Gin Vipers are irrelevant. You will never consider running Gin Vipers. They are terrible in comparison to accuracy accessories. Same thing with Elkars, but obviously you're going to run Elkars because they have an ignore resist. But accuracy house buff, 20 accuracy in exchange for the 15 AP, no shot would you ever consider that. 1.3 accuracy gain per AP loss, no way. Accuracy artifacts are the same way. You're getting 8 accuracy in exchange for 4 AP. Hell no. And then Blight and Skill Master. Once again, a little bit of confusion here because there's a, like extra modifiers and stuff, but it's so bad that it's a rounding error. It's just terrible to ever consider needing accuracy and running Skill Master over Blight. So overall, you will no longer be running accuracy anywhere else other than accuracy accessories. You wouldn't even consider it. The ratios are terrible. 
This is literally one third of the efficiency of a Dawn. Everything is bad. So essentially, what does that mean for the future of builds in Black Desert? So if we were to go to this crystal build here, I think this is what most people are likely going to want to run as just a jack of all trades. You no longer have Jin Vipers, you just have Red Battlefield Vipers. You still have Hooms because they just give a lot of really good stats, HP resistance and DR and stuff like that, and it gives a little bit of accuracy. So these are probably worth running, but you'll notice that in this build where you have five Deborekas and one accuracy accessory, even with concentration popped, we do have full buffs here, you're at 919 accuracy. If you were to raise that up by the additional 19 when this gets buffed, you're still only at 938 accuracy. And 938 accuracy is not going to be enough. A lot of you guys are saying that accuracy is a complete meme in the Global Lab, and a lot of guys are memeing about that, but the people that have actually done the testing, like Divios and Zethian, they, I talked to Divios just right before this video. He has determined that around 1,000 accuracy is what you're going to need to be able to do the most damage to the evasion classes that can actually do anything to you at all. At the point where the, there's evasion classes that are building like Centaur and Sissel and every other evasion thing under the sun, and you're actually missing on them, they will just do no damage to you because you're going to be so juiced up with your DR that they're just not a threat. So anybody that's a threat and still running evasion, a thousand accuracy will be enough for them. So this begs the question, why is often best? And that is because I think that the best build in the game is going to be three accuracy accessories. And that is going to put you at 967 accuracy. But once these get buffed, additional 19, plus 19, and then plus 26, for a total of 64 additional accuracy, that's going to put you at 1,031 accuracy. Just a little bit too much over that threshold. But if we put on our best friend off in here, not only are we going from the 328 AP bracket up to the 330 AP bracket, um, 328 is not a bracket, but it puts you down to the 323 bracket. So essentially you're gaining a bracket by putting on the often. So you're gaining 3 AP plus 2 AP, so 5 AP, and you're also putting your accuracy much closer to where it needs to be, which is right around that 1,000 mark. It's going to put you at 1,013 accuracy, which is just going to be the sweet spot to be able to do really, really strong damage, to, the most damage to anybody that's running evasion still, while also having the 330 bracket to get you that little bit of extra AP in order to do a lot of damage to the high DR individuals because DR is going to be so much more influential, and you're still going to have the three-piece Debo set effect. So this is the basis as to why I think often is a best-in-slot weapon now, and the reasoning is just as simple as it is more efficient to gain your accuracy through any other source, through an accuracy accessory, than it is to gain accuracy through crystals, lightstones, or artifacts, and it's even more efficient to gain your accuracy through those accessories over that of a Zarka and over that of a Black Star. So realistically, I think that this is going to be the perfect build. And if you need that additional little bit of accuracy, if you're fighting like a, a meme class, maybe you put this on and lower your AP by a little bit. But I think that often is going to be the perfect balance of, I just don't need more than 1,013 accuracy and you're probably going to be even overkill for a lot of people still too by having 1,013 accuracy. So it makes so much sense for you to be running something like this or this with like maybe a Tayback belt if you don't need that additional accuracy again. And that is going to be the perfect build to deal with the meta and what has been discovered on the Global Lab as of right now. So that is my basis for why often is best. And I hope that that made a lot of sense. It is a pretty expensive little swap, but so are all accuracy sources. Um, getting, an ac getting a Dawn Earring over a Debo is 125 bill, and getting an Offen is like 80 bill. So at the end of the day, it's really not that bad when you're trying to min-max your PvP builds, but you are still going to need both a Black Star and an Offen because you're never going to grind with the Offen. So temporarily, you might consider running the Black Star until you can afford this. But once you get to this point, you're starting to get ready to put on the Offen in order to min-max your build even further. Not only that, but you get two additional species damage on the Offen if you're 
not already having a Zarka. So that's pretty nice too. Also, I know you guys have probably noticed I don't have a cup on my Dawn Earring. Don't bully me, all right? I just bought it and I, I'm waiting for my order, okay? But yeah, that's the basis. I hope that this video was super useful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys agree with what I'm saying um, because I truly believe this to be the best build for succession classes. And uh, maybe guy, if you guys have uh, other input on things that you've noticed on the Global Lab, I personally think that right around that thousand accuracy mark is where you want to be and often puts you in the perfect position to get you there. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did make it this far and you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe and I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Peace.